all-new 48mm white power closed cartridge fork finds its way into the 2024 KTM EXC lineup with a new mid-valve piston concept. This optimizes the oil flow within the cartridge for fast, consistent damping characteristics and avoids any unwanted foaming of fork oil that can lead to an unwanted change in the damping characteristics. A new hydro stop in the last 68mm of the stroke also helps to keep maximum compression in reserve when tackling extreme obstacles like steep drop-offs or jumps in special enduro stages. The fork protection rings have been updated, with a new design that provides increased protection against dirt intrusion. Overall, the total fork length has increased from 928mm to 940mm, while the stroke has increased from 290 92mm to 300mm, with new suspension settings taken directly from learnings made in the KTM and white power departments. The new fork also features easy adjustability, with rebound and compression being adjusted via hand-adjustable clickers on the bottom of the fork shoe and on top of the fork top cap. This allows riders to change settings on the fly without the need for any special tool and makes for quick and easy adjustments between laps or while refueling in the pits. The progressive damping system remains an exclusive signature element for KTM and sees an all-new design of the WPX4 PDS shock. More compact, with an overall length decrease to 402.7 mm, compared to 415 mm in the previous generation. Also the stroke has decreased from 105 mm to 102.7 mm, with a 380 grams weight reduction. It also features a new main piston, designed to optimize oil flow and more consistent damping characteristics. New bearing seals have also been included, which now set the benchmark when it comes to maintenance and service intervals. The WPX4 PDS rear shock now also comes with adjustable hand clickers, allowing riders to change settings on the fly without the need for any tools. Compression is adjusted on top of the shock, with the rebound being adjusted on the bottom. Preload can also be adjusted for rider weight and preference by opening the securing ring with an Allen wrench and tightening or loosening the rear shock spring accordingly.